Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1702, England's first national daily newspaper, The Daily Current, is published for the first time. In 1744, the English auction house Sotheby's holds its first ever auction in London. It was of books. In 1759, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the first American life insurance company is incorporated. In 1789, Benjamin Banneker and Pierre Charles L'Enfant begin to lay out the design of Washington, D.C. In 1791, Samuel Millikan becomes the first person to obtain more than one U.S. patent. In 1805, the Michigan Territory is created. In 1811, in the UK, textile workers staged the first major Luddite riot, breaking the machinery that was causing their displacement from their jobs. In 1823, Concord Academy in Vermont becomes the first normal school in the United States. In 1824, the United States Department of War creates the Bureau of Indian Affairs. In 1851, Giuseppe Verde's opera Rigoletto premieres in Venice, Italy. In 1855, the Bowery Boys gang leader, William Poole, also known as Bill the Butcher, is buried in Brooklyn with 155 carriages and 6,000 mourners attending. In 1861, Alabama secedes from the United States. In 1862, Abraham Lincoln removes George McClellan as General-in-Chief. In 1864, the Great Sheffield Flood which was the largest man-made disaster ever in England, kills over 250 people. In 1869, people in the West first learn of the giant panda. In 1888, the Great Blizzard of 1888 began on the Atlantic coast of the United States, blanketing New York City with 22 inches of snow and other areas with up to 50 inches and killing more than 400 people. In 1892, the first public basketball game is played in Springfield, Massachusetts. In 1895, the Spanish cruiser Reina Regente sinks in the Straits of Gibraltar, killing over 400 people. In 1897, a meteorite enters the Earth's atmosphere and explodes over New Martinsville, West Virginia. It causes damage, but no human injuries are reported. In 1908, the Grand Canyon National Monument is created. In 1917, in the first NHL championship game ever played, the Toronto Arenas beat the Montreal Canadiens 7-3 in the first of two games. In 1918, Moscow becomes the capital of revolutionary Russia. Also in 1918, U.S. Army Private Albert Gitchell of Fort Riley, Kansas becomes the first documented case of Spanish flu in the United States. The pandemic goes on to kill 50 to 100 million people worldwide. In 1927, in New York City, Samuel Roxy Rothafel opens the Roxy Theater. Also in 1927, the first armored commercial car holdup occurs in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 1930, William Howard Taft was the first U.S. president to be buried in the Arlington National Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia. In 1935, the Bank of Canada opens for the first time on Wellington Street in Ottawa. Also in 1935, Hermann Goering officially creates the German Air Force, also called the Luftwaffe. In 1941, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signs the Lend-Lease Act into law, allowing American-built war supplies to be shipped to the Allies on loan. In 1942, the first deportation train leaves Paris for the Auschwitz concentration camp. In 1943, the Nazi militia forms in the Netherlands. In 1945, the Imperial Japanese Navy attempts a large-scale kamikaze attack on the U.S. Pacific Fleet in Operation Tan No. 2. It is very similar to Pearl Harbor. In 1954, the U.S. Army charges that Senator Joseph McCarthy used undue pressure tactics in his search for communists in the United States probably the biggest understatement of that decade. In 1958, an American B-47 accidentally drops a nuclear bomb on a family's home in Mars Bluff, South Carolina. Fortunately, the bomb did not have its nuclear capsule. Also in 1958, Charles Van Doren finally loses on the US TV game show 21 after winning $129,000. The game was later revealed to be fixed 
In 1959, Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun became the first play by an African-American woman to be produced on Broadway. In 1960, Pioneer 5 is launched into solar orbit between the Earth and Venus. In 1961, during their face-off today, the Blackhawks and the Maple Leafs each have 20 penalties. In 1963, the U.S. military adopts the use of the M16 assault rifle. In 1964, at the 21st Golden Globes, the movie Cardinal, Sidney Poitier, and Leslie Caron win. In 1965, the Indonesian president signs the Super Samar Order, giving Army Commander General Suharto the authority to do whatever he deemed necessary to restore order. Okay, now wait for it. In 1966, Indonesian General Suharto leads a military coup to overthrow the government. In 1967, Pink Floyd releases their first single, Arnold Lane. In 1968, Otis Redding becomes the first person in the U.S. to posthumously receive a gold record for his single, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. In 1970, at the 12th Grammy Awards, Aquarius, Crosby, Stills & Nash, and Peggy Lee win. In 1971, Jim Morrison leaves the United States for Paris to avoid the jail sentence given to him in Miami. He never again returns to the United States. In 1974, Mount Etna in Sicily erupted. Also in 1974, the Rhino Music Store gives people a nickel if they take home a copy of Danny Bonaduce's album. In 1977, more than 130 hostages being held in Washington, D.C. by Hanafi Muslims are set free after ambassadors from three Islamic nations join the negotiations. In 1978, the Coastal Road Massacre occurs where at least 37 are killed and more than 70 are wounded when El Fatah hijack an Israeli bus. In 1979, Canadian Randy Hold receives 67 minutes of penalties in a 60-minute NHL hockey game. In 1982, the Detroit Pistons beat the Chicago Bulls 152-144 to and have 20 blocked shots. In 1983, at the ninth People's Choice Awards, Burt Reynolds, Jane Fonda, and Katherine Hepburn win for motion pictures, and Tom Selleck, Linda Evans, and Loretta Swit for television. In 1986, here's a random one for you. Today marks one million days since the founding of Rome, Italy on April 21, 753 BC. Also in 1986, the NFL adopts the instant replay rule. In 1990, Lithuania becomes the first Soviet Republic to declare independence. Also in 1990, at the 16th People's Choice Awards, Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep win for motion picture, and Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashad win for TV. In 1991, at the 17th People's Choice Awards, Mel Gibson and Julia Roberts win for motion picture, and Bill Cosby and Kirstie Alley win for TV. Also in 1991, Janet Jackson signs a $40 million three-album deal with Virgin Records. And in 1991 as well, Monica Seles ends Steffi Graf's 186-week streak of being ranked number one. In 1993, Janet Reno is confirmed by the United States Senate, becoming the first female Attorney General of the United States. In 1997, former Beatle Paul McCartney is knighted by Queen Elizabeth II. In 1999, Infosys becomes the first Indian company listed on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. In 2003, the International Criminal Court holds its first session. In 2004, Madrid, Spain suffers a series of terrorist attacks when Islamic militants detonate 10 bombs on four trains at three different rail stations, killing 191 people and injuring 1,800 others. In 2006, Chile's first woman president is sworn into office. In 2008, 16 renowned opera critics named Placido Domingo the King of Singers, as reported in the BBC's Music Magazine. In 2009, 17 are killed in a shooting at a school in Germany. In 2010, Sebastian Piñera is sworn in as president of Chile, while three earthquakes hit central Chile during the ceremony. In 2011, Japan is struck by an earthquake and tsunami that causes a major nuclear accident. 
In 2013, the European Union bans the sale of cosmetics that have been tested on animals. Also in 2013, in spite of past trouble, 99.8% of people in the Falkland Islands choose to remain a territory of the United Kingdom. In 2017, more than 65 people are killed in a landslide at a garbage dump in Ethiopia. In 2018, the president of China is granted his presidency for life. In 2020, the World Health Organization declares that the COVID-19 outbreak is a pandemic. Also in 2020, Harvey Weinstein is sentenced to 23 years in prison for rape. And in 2020 as well, the smallest dinosaur ever discovered is in Myanmar with a skull smaller than a fingertip. And lastly, in 2021, British Prince William says the royal family is very much not a racist family in their first public comments since his brother Harry and his wife Meghan made these statements in an interview. That was March 11th. Did you like it? Then subscribe to my channel. I'm waiting. I'm waiting.